Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more problem from lead code. The problem name is Excel sheet column number. So that like this problem is from the top interview preparation series I've been working on from lead code. So if you haven't checked it out, the link of that playlist will be in the description of this video. Okay. So the problem goes like this, that given a string column title that represent the column title that appears in the actual sheet represent the column number, uh, return the column number, corresponding column number. Okay. Okay, cool. So what you can see here is that if you have seen an Excel sheet, okay, you can see that there are numbers that are mentioned on Excel sheet represented by alphabets. That is A is meant to be like A is meant to by one, B is meant to two, so on till Z, Z is 26. And then it like folds on. So A, 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 B, A, C and so on. So these are numbers and you're given that and you have to just find out the column. So the column length can be of length seven. So it can be of seven length character like this particular string, you just have to tell what is the, uh, like what is the column, like the title, column title. Like I'll tell you in simple terms. So let's say that it is A, then B, then it all goes to Z, then A, 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 B, it all goes to A, Z, then it is B, A, then B, B, and all goes to B, Z, then C, A, CB all goes to CZ and so on. So this is how the column will be mentioned. And like if this is one, this is two, then it is all goes to like then 26, then 27, all goes to all and so on. So these are how it is left mentioned. Now what you can directly observe here is that, okay, how I can uh, like picture this sound to you. So the first position goes from one till 26, like that 26 characters, okay. Now the second cat is also like, what is the maximum number? So if you have learned permutation combination, then you have two positions. Now, if you put, let's say there are 26 positions for here and 26 positions for here, like 26 characters I can put here, 26 characters I can put here. So total number of characters, like total possible permutations I can get is 26 and 26. And that's the overall solution for two characters. Then if you have three characters then similarly like this. So, if let's say you put A in the first position and for this you have again 26 and 26 options. Then if you put B here then 26 and 26 options and so on. Okay. So what you can directly observe is let's say you have a string, let's say C, B and F. Now it's the, now this is the column title. You have to print out what is the column number. Okay. Corresponding column number. So this is one, this is two and so on. So, so C, B, F, what is the column number? Now what you can see here is that this number so whatever numbers you have gone through, so, so there are some particular column, you have to fill out what is the particular number of this. The last one is F. So F co corresponds to, so one, two, so A, B, C, D, E, F. So it is six. So this one is six. Now whatever number comes down to this position. So there might be some number that is C, B, A, then C, B, B, and so on until F. So what is the number till C, B? You just have to add six to that. So CB is such that like it might be first, it, it will be having CA and then like CAA, then CAB, CAC and so on. And then when CAZ has completed, then it's gone to CB. Now CBA, CBC and so on. So there are this, how many characters are like, are these as you can see. So what you can observe is that there are 26 characters. So 26 times, like how many times did this has occurred? Like, uh, like it has a 26 times. So one time it has occurred because all the A's are there. Now we are in B's. So 26 has done, done one time occurred. Now if, if it, if it could have been CC, uh, CC B, then for coming on to C two times. So from A to B 26 times occurred and B to C 26 times occurred. So 26 to 26. So what is this number here is that number value into like 26. So when you go one step back again, now there are two 26 numbers. So this is 26 to the power of, so this number is actually 26 power zero into the particular number, like whatever is the number. So let's say F plus 26 to the power of one into B plus 26 power two into C. And this number is the final answer. Okay. Now C is like, you have to convert them into the corresponding value. So A is one, B is two and C one, like C is, like C is three and so on. And that's the answer because one step back you go 26 power, like 
goes into power because to change one value so what i mean by this is so let's say you have c dash dash now to go from c dash dash to d dash dash which means that any character will start from c so c then any character and if you let's say a a and then if you want to go from c a a to d a a how many changes you have done you have changes 26 into 26 because this character will go from a then b then c so it has 26 chances and then for this also for every a there are 26 so 26 and 26 so for changing this particular from c to d this whole number has changed 26 to 26 times so similarly if like how from starting character like a equal to 1 from a equal to 1 it has gone 26 and 26 time to come down to c okay and this character has gone only 26 times to come down to b because of one time and this character has 26 power 0 till f so that you just have to add all of this number that's all answer for this problem so this is the total the, we have just column size we goes from the back to front because that 26 power 0 and power 1 so whatever like column title we have we just uh, correspond that to the particular number we have so we subtract a to it plus 1 because it's from 0 to index so we just make it one index so this is like a is correspond to 1 and b correspond to 0 that is the column length into this multiplication value we just add this to total and every time this multiplication value multiply by 26 so it is like the first value is 1 which is 25 by 26 power 0 then multiplication is multiplied by 26 so like the next number whatever it goes to second last digit it is 26 because now 20, multi, like 26 is multiplied with multiplication this multiply variable so now the in the first iteration when like in the first iteration this multiplication value is 1 so this is 1 which is 26 power, 26 power 0 then this multiply is value is multiplied with 26 so now in this next iteration it is now 26 then again 26 into 26 26 into 26 into 26 and so on so this is like 26 power 1 and 26 power 2 and so on so this is how you multiply it all, all together thing. and then we just have to total on so that's the overall question you just have to visualize it more clearly you can draw it on some paper so that it will become more clear to you so that's the overall logic and code part for this problem thank you for watching the video till the end and stay tuned on this series thank you